Last week, hundreds of people on bikes here in Winnipeg blocked a major intersection during rush hour following a series of incidents of traffic violence against cyclists. Here's some background on what led to this and how we pulled it off. Our streets! Our streets! Who streets? Our streets! Last month, we blocked the road where Rob Jenner was biking when a driver hit and killed him. Two weeks ago, we held a massive memorial ride in his honor. Then, last week, yet another cyclist, a child, was hit by a driver and severely injured on the same notorious road. Not a day goes by in the city without cyclists and pedestrians being subjected to traffic violence resulting from car-centric urban design. And these incidents we're publicizing are only the tip of the iceberg. These blockade actions were a long time coming, and community has been building capacity through group rides like Critical Mass, where we normalize disruption and teach each other how to cork and marshal. We were also supported by a local group called Big Gay Wall, which provides marshals and legal observers for protests, marches, and rallies. When we block a road during either a blockade or a large community ride, we're always careful to yield and make way for emergency vehicles, and sometimes buses as well, where possible. In this case, we allowed buses and paramedics through by having someone loudly identify them, and then having some folks form a line behind the vehicle to ensure no private vehicles follow through the crowd. Similar to how corking works at critical mass, no one was specifically assigned to do these things. Folks from the crowd just took it upon themselves to announce the bus, make way, and then form a line behind it. This kind of flexibility to make way is not possible when buses or emergency vehicles are stuck in traffic, which happens every day in car-centric cities around the world. Yet even a crowd of thousands of people can easily make way for an ambulance. Do you think your town or city is ready for an action like this? I'm so proud that the cycling community here is finally ready to start getting ungovernable on a larger scale. We're not asking anymore, we're demanding safe infrastructure, and we're shutting things down until we get it. I only hope it doesn't take more of us getting hit for us to take to the streets again. Huge thanks to the organizers of this event, and to Big Gay Wall for providing support.